Good morning. Is it windy one? <laughs> it is. Chicago Marathon. Oh my. 2021. Yeah. Very different race day than what we're used to posting with our typical Run Disney events. We're walking to the train. It's like 520, 530? Well, 520, 530. Yeah. My corral, they anticipate, they project I should get there at 6. Mm -hmm. My wave starts at 8. Um, Sarah can't get too close to the start line this year. Um, but we've got a plan. And I'm feeling good, I'm feeling ready. I just am ready to have a good, fun run. You were not supposed to be here. You because were... it was like last year, 2020. I was due with James in like three weeks yeah, so like after I the race. Yeah, so the last thing we did before we went up, before he was born. Yeah, so. but now he gets to be here and I get to be here. So. I just saw so many people like I'm really not know what to do about you filming the camera. <laughs> well, there's a massive camper like, crew that just boop, passed boop, behind boop. you, so. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> you think they're gonna follow me? Surprise! Well, Sarah's gonna go that way. I go this way. It feel, I mean, I guess it's like, it's early, but not. There's not as much, um, so much time. circumstance okay. as there is for run Disney. Yeah, like, the, I'm going to start running in less than two hours. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, I have my plan. You know where I'm going to be. Yep. I'm excited. Text me when you get to the spots, because you're going to be on my right side for both the first two miles. Yeah. Good luck. Let me do it. Let me do James do. Here, look at this. Thank you, volunteers. Chicago. Bank of America Marathon. All the people are out. The sun is just waiting to come up and welcome us for this run on the cusp of gates four and five. I'm in gate five today. Let's go check this out. All right, I might have gear check, but I had to show you this. This is the Buckingham Fountain, which is Sarah has been wanting to try to go to all summer. And every time we go to attempt, this thing is fenced off. So I really hope Sarah is able to, I don't know if she's able to get into this area prior to, or like post-race, I think it is. I think it's part of the post-race event, but Sarah, I'm right here. I wish you were here with me. All right, you can tell the sun's trying to work its way up, but look at this beautiful view. I came on the other side of Buckingham Fountain because I had the time, and they're actually doing Gatorade, distribution for water Gatorade, and I think some beans. But look at that, this, with the skyline behind a fountain. I have made it to State and the River. I'm going to State and Grand for my first stop just past mile one. I got some snacks from 7-Eleven. The sun is beginning to rise. Jamesy is still fast asleep in the stroller, which is great. We just got to our spot at Grandin State. They're starting to close state down. The last of the cars are making their way through. I don't know, like I'm not even running and the adrenaline is real. So here, here's where I am. Just at this corner, the one mile mark is just a little bit further down Grant. So he'll be a little bit more than a mile in and I'll be right here. And so hopefully he'll be able to see us good. So my plan for a lot of today is to like use these um, areas where the, the paths are pretty close to one another to my advantage. So I'm gonna see him here and then at the 5K mark and then up north at two of these spots and then further south at two spots over here and then at the finish line. I'm gonna give myself a lot of time to get there. We all know that <laughs> sometimes Things don't go according to plan. I don't want to miss him at the finish line. I am going to do my best to go to the ACS cheer station if there's time. Um, again, can only do my best. So that is the plan. Pretty straightforward. Peter was so sweet and said that if at any point I'm not feeling up for this even right now to just go home. I'm feeling really good. I got some water. I got some snacks for us. I truly think I got this <laughs> today. Um, 
I potentially might see a couple of friends and family along the way, but um, right now it's just me and Jamesy, which again is so, so surreal because I'm so used to doing this by myself for Run Disney. And our very, our last in-person race was Princess of 2020, which was the, the 5K, was the day that we found out that I was pregnant with James. And so he was at those finish lines, but it's really, really momentous for him to be here with me today. And it's just like, you know, <laughs> races are emotional for a lot of reasons, but um, yeah, it just feels, just feels extra good and exciting and I super want to be here for Peter like I always am so I'm gonna do my absolute best I just feel so grateful that I'm able to to do this and to cheer Peter on in our favorite city you know city we love so so much the baby we love so so much um, so yeah <laughs> it's the beginning of the feels today the sun's up I'm back in my corral about to tie up the shorts, get my belt ready, and probably just sit. There's a lot of people just sitting relaxing. The corral's basically empty, but we still have another hour and 14 minutes before this wave starts. So, here early, but very excited. I could not play this. I love it. I love it. I gotta say, it's kind of weird for me to be starting this race Today, singing the national in daylight is gold medal because winning special this is the first Chicago outside of Run Disney Yana Kennedy Long. Like, Yana race is a race of South I've ever done. Occupational Academy. And Run Disney's and always in Alpine skiing, early in the night. Here they come, wow. It's almost time the corrals are moving up. Wave one is done. Away. I just heard a Nike pacer give a speech to us in one line hit me important. Finish strong and finish smiling. Two years in the making. That started. So it's meeting me shortly up there. Look at these crowds. Woo! Here we go. Look at the city. Woo! Ah, oh, this is going to be a good day. Woo! Look at they got the red carpet out for us. Look at this, two floors of spectators. Woo! Woo! Alright, mile one. Here's the turn. I gotta find my favorite people. I gotta show James what this run's about. I see him. Here he is! Go, Daddy! Woohoo! Go, Daddy! Wow! 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 What 
the heck? Well, that was just so fun. I met some friends waiting around. Um, like, not friends I knew, like I made friends while I was there, which was great. And now I am headed to LaSalle Street. I'm just gonna stay on Grand, I think. And it'll be right after the 5K mark. So I think I'm gonna get James changed. He's like still in his jammies. Um, and then get situated. And then see him after the 5K. He was looking so good and so happy and just so Peter. Look at this. Look at all this love on State Street. That great street. Woo! -hoo. Let's go. Beautiful. Here's my old job. I worked many marathons at this front desk. <laughs> Alrighty, we are going down to the red line to go see Daddy on the north side. Here we go, making the turn on the Stockton towards Lincoln Park Zoo. Now this is like really getting close to home, home turf, home court advantage for me coming up. Hi. Have a good run, okay? You feeling good? Feeling Stay cool. Time. I feel great. I'm just ready to have the best run ever. Better. Yeah. Running back. Exactly. See you. See ya. That's awesome. Um, I just feel feel so good having a good run. Turning south on Broadway, the most northern point of the race. Time to go find Sarah and James. Woo! All right, so I don't think I mentioned this. I did see Peter right after the 5K mark. He looked great. Um, then we got on a very, a very crowded red line, and I guess that there had been some delays, so I got it just in time to make it to the north side. James is having a bottle. And we're gonna see Peter right at about mile nine. Come on, look at these crowds in Lakeview. I love it. Woo! There's no other race like this. This is incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Halfway. Woo! 13.1 down, 13.1 to go. Alrighty, so I actually did a little trick and I took the brown line to Jackson and so taking the red line again because it was just so so busy and so I took it to Jackson and now I'm going to well I took the brown line to Harold Washington Library now I'm gonna get on the blue line to go to UIC which will be super special because James has never been there before so hopefully we'll see Peter in two spots here and then we're already going to the finish line he just hit the half marathon marker just past mile 15 you guys know I hate repeating things and even though we're not we have this like terrible down and back it's the equivalent of run disney to when you run all the way west down like uh my god what road is that the service road right before animal kingdom you just run like a mile west just to run a mile back east that's what we're doing here just heading down jackson back east i should be seeing sarah in the next mile that's rush hospital usc is right after i think she's gonna try to see me over here on jackson and then over on the other side of UIC before those will be the last time I see her before the finish. So my friend Heather, who used to be an ACS worker who now works for Longevity, a different charity, over by the charity block party. I'm being if I'm being honest, my legs have been cramping for the past like two miles, but I'm just taking it easy, taking the breaks when I need it, doing biofreeze, getting my water, getting my gels. This is just a fun, fun, fun race. 
Okay, we are power walking to Jackson and Morgan to see Peter over in the West Loop. And then we're gonna trek to Taylor through UIC and try and see him there too. He's really close. This is gonna be a close call. I waited forever for the blue line, but I think we'll be here just in time. I went to take out James and he was asleep. Hey, Sarah. Sign. Here we go, you I see my alma mater. Saw Sarah over there. I think she's gonna meet me over there. She gave me some uh, banana bread, which was delicious. Guys, these cramps are not going away, but I'm gonna embrace the pain and run when I'm running, jog when I'm jogging, and walk when I walk to get through it, hoping they subside at some point during this. But if not, that's the game of the marathon sometimes. And we're just gonna finish it anyway, right? So, I'm gonna go down memory lane right now, coming through my old campus. So this is how I would walk from campus to my job. I mean, my job was on campus too, but from like my classes over to the athletic center. Um, during college, I have taken this stroll many times. James is asleep, um, but that's good because then our first true time on campus with him, Peter will be able to be there. Um, I look exhausted, I am exhausted. I'm not the marathon runner, but I am pooped. So after this meet up with Peter, I am going to the finish line just to make sure that I will get there on time. Um, Peter looked great. He says his legs were a little cramping. I gave him a little bit of sugar that I had. Um, but I told him just take it slow and enjoy. That's the whole point of it. And so. We'll be there waiting for him. The like who I found. It's <laughs> the last time we see each other before that. Uh -huh. hey, Crazy. You're doing incredible. Incredible. A lot of fun. Is it fun? Do you like it? Where was yeah. your favorite spot so far? Oh my gosh, it's just all so different. Yes. Chicago's so different. Uh -huh. Running through all the neighborhoods. Welcome to Chicago. Great. See, welcome to Chicago. <laughs> I, well, I feel I feel like Taylor Street and Chinatown are going to be fun. I saw the Burnses. Wow. Yeah. Saw yeah. Ashley. Saw Heather. Great. And a viewer. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. All right. I love you. I love you Thank too. You. We'll see you at the finish, right? Yeah. Check it out. We're on our way to mile 20. Coming up on IIT, my original college. I went here for a year, freshman year. And then just around the corner, we we're just like three blocks away from the southernmost point of the entire race, 35th Street. We go a little further east and we turn north to, to finish this out in Grand Park. It's been about a year and a half since the last in-person race. I know we've talked about it before, but it just isn't the same as having it in a race. Sarah's dad was always my running inspiration. And it's unfortunate that I now have Sarah's mom to run for too. But 23 miles of America. All you have is a 5k left, so no matter how bad my knees feel because of cramping or how good I feel, it's time to go for just a quick 5k, just like Mr. Ryan used to do back in my high school days. So, let's go for a quick 5k with me. There you go, we're coming up on mile 24. You know what that means. That means one mile until the ACS party with Jenna and all the other amazing supporters. And then after that, it's one mile to Sarah and James. It's been a, a really fun run. I can't wait until next year already. Look at them. Woo! There she is, there's Jenna.
I'm gonna get my medal and walk another mile to meet Sarah at the party. Look at that. Woo. Look at this beautiful medal. I love it. Well, something you definitely never see at Disney, run Disney, is Goose Island handing out full 16 ounce beers at the end for all the finishers. That's awesome. Well, Heater finished, and I honestly can't really even talk about it. Um, without being emotional, so I'm just gonna say he did incredible as always. My pride for him is there just aren't words, so I'm gonna find him and hug him, and then we'll get to relax and celebrate. And I finally get to see the fountain. We are home, I have showered, I have changed into clean clothes. We got home, got like decompressed and everything. Um, I, I really do feel pretty good overall. I mean, my legs are sore, but like considering the, the weird muscular condition I was experiencing, um, I just like, I didn't, I didn't have expectations for my, my like, level of achievement today, which is good because I would have been sorely disappointed with what was happening with my legs. Um, like I almost didn't finish. Like I was like, and I never like, Peter Burkhardt's too stubborn to not finish. Um, but Sarah and James are incredible on top of like literally spending all the energy all day, like scouring across the city, dealing with different kinds of public transportation and crowds of people and road closures and stuff to come see me which truly did help a lot. Like, I didn't, I mean, Sarah, I haven't talked about it too much, but like, I made one comment of like, I can never get that close during Run Disney outside of like Main Street during the marathon. But out of all the other Run Disney events, I can't get that close uh, or uh, for sure not that many times. And so that like, it really did help me out like, like metaphysically, like in my mind and like knowing, like it helped knowing like, okay, I've got, you know, if I, if I run good, I got 10 minutes before I get to kiss my baby and, and Sarah again and give them a quick squeeze before on to the next point. But I wanna show you what Sarah got me. I already drank one, she got me a bottle of body armor, so that was great. I <laughs> drank that in the shower while I was just getting rained on, um, while the sweat and all the nastiness of running through a city just fell off me. First up, Sarah got me a bottle of my favorite red wines, which was very surprising, I love it. Next up, a bag of my favorite Fritos, a bag of my favorite candy, and to top it off, a bag of my favorite cookies. We ordered the pizza from Happy Camper. This is some ma cheesy mat sticks oh. and prosciutto pizza. It's a big old pizza. Since the last time I picked up the camera, I just want to let you know, my leg muscles have just been convulsing. So this that's... is so hot. This is good delivery time. Mm -hmm. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.